Well, hello everyone. Welcome back, guys. Hope you all are doing well. This is Muhammad Badru Duja, and today we are going to start another vulnerability module, which is client-side vulnerability. And the name of this vulnerability is cross-site scripting (XSS2), and it is a type of injection attack in which an attacker injects malicious code or arbitrary JavaScript code into a web application. So. Uh, you can consider this vulnerability as client side vulnerability why because rather than targeting the web application server which hosts the application an attacker actually targets the application's user that means the victim is not going to be the server the victim is going to be the user okay or user's browser so xss allows a threat actor to execute malicious code javascript in the victim's browser okay and by executing this arbitrary javascript code an attacker can have unauthorized access to the sensitive information and what this information could be this information could be uh, your session cookie your password and other information regarding the user and actually the severity of this attack uh, could be considered by the application or the uh, functionality or the service this application is providing because if you are if the web application is providing you somehow the information that is regarding to PHI which is protected health information or PII which is personally identifiable information and that application is vulnerable to XSS that is going to be severe okay and suppose that uh, you are accessing the banking application or banking site okay so this is again very sensitive information so the severity of this attack depends on the application to application the functionality or the service provided by the application there are three type of cross-site scripting the first one is reflected second one is stored xss and the third one is dome based xss so in the today's lab because you can see today's lab is all about reflected accesses so i'm not going to uh, explain about uh, other vulnerabilities which is stored and dom based so today i will focus on reflected accesses vulnerability i will highly recommend you guys to read and understand this content what you see here to understand how this vulnerability occurs arises and what are the steps you can take to test an application for this particular uh, vulnerability right so reflected xss when the user input is immediately returned or rendered in the response okay that is reflected because whatever you type in the input field in the response it is uh, as it is reflected or maybe there is something which you see in the encoded form but we will see that in a minute but the thing is an attacker finds the place where user can uh, input and that input is directly uh, generate the response and in the response you see whatever you type in the input you see that in the response right okay so let's go to the lab here and it's saying reflected xss into html context with nothing encoded so uh, one of the way with which you can mitigate the cross-site scripting vulnerability is output encoding okay and what is output encoding because you see here if i right click and inspect it you can see uh, sorry not inspect i can show it better by viewing the source page so you can see that page that page which you see here okay uh, this is basically a html document okay and html documents is all about the tags so whatever information you are going to put here uh, everything is in uh, a specific tag like html that means this document is html then you can add header head sorry link body script okay sections divisions um, headings anchor tag okay svg tag header a lot of tags it means everything in the html document you define with the tag right so if the output encoding is not there within the html that means if you put some special characters like smaller than and search it 
you will see that special character here as smaller than right you will see this specific uh, this specific character as ampersand less than semicolon right if you put greater than and if output encoding is not there means html encoding output html encoding is not there so you will see that greater than sign as it is but if the output encoding is there or enabled so you will see that uh, ampersand greater than and semicolon so this is very important to avoid the uh, cross site scripting why because you can see if you can inject if you can inject these two special character you can basically write a tag like how like you can uh, you can add a tag here um, let's say paragraph tag and you can see here this is um, cybersec radar okay and you can close this tag okay let's just copy that and paste it here because the output html tagging uh, output html encoding is not there so it is going to be successfully add this tag and as you can see it comes in the paragraph okay and if i right click here and inspect you can see um, this one here p paragraph tag is already added here so that means you can add or you can inject the tag if you can inject the tag you can also inject a tag which is uh, let's say anchor tag a and here you specify href for the reference and you can um, add here any link let's say um, cybersec radar dot xr and you can say link and then close the tag this is another anchor tag and just search this and when you search this this tag is added within this page and you can see if i hover my cursor to the link you can see on the left hand bottom corner that whatever link i put there it is showing there that means if i uh, click on this link it is going to redirect me to cybersecradar.xor although this does not exist so uh, <clears throat> i hope you understand that okay so what's wrong with this injecting tags the problem arises once a threat actor inject um, a script tag not only a script there are um, there are bunch of tags uh, okay and to just for the proof of concept i'm going to use the alert function and let's say in the alert i'm writing um, cybersec radar okay and let's copy that come here and i'm going to paste that okay and let's just search so what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to inject the script tag and within script tag i'm using a javascript function which is alert and it is going to pop up a uh, alert window saying cyber secretar and here as you can see the pop up is there saying cyber secretar so that means this application is vulnerable for the reflected xss vulnerability okay uh, now most of the time you will see in the proof of concepts that the tester penetration tester uses alert function so the purpose behind using alert function is to just showing the proof of concept that okay this application is vulnerable to cross site scripting or reflected cross site scripting and i can use javascript function alert because uh, it does not make damage any damage just alerting the pop up okay so just to show you the proof we use alert but we can do much more things so that's it for this video hope you understand that and i'm going to see you in the next lab bye